I'm Rebecca Lamar Brunson, and I am here with Mariah Jefferson. Look, when you think about the Minnesota um, Lynx, you think about a lot of great players, but you are the first player in Lynx history to have a triple-double. How does that make you feel? I mean, it feels great. Um, I think for me, the thing I'm most proud of, uh, being a big guard like I am, <laughs> you know, right? getting 10 <laughs> rebounds, um, it's, it's always good when you're a guard, you get assists, you get to your points, but getting the rebounds for me, that was probably the most fun part of the game. Yeah, that was a big game for mm -hmm. you. I remember how everyone was celebrating. Yeah. It was just a, such a special moment. So congratulations, first off. Thank you. And um, congratulations because you're shooting a career high from three this year, but you really get things done when you're able to get downhill, get to the rim, and pull up for that mid-range. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at some of those plays. Here you have the ball in your hand. You're going to yep. call Nina up here for a on ball screen and what are you thinking you'll be able to create through this? Yeah, so my job at the point guard really is being aggressive at the point of the screen. So I know Nina's coming up. Um, my sweet spot is right in here in the mid-range area. So I see her come up. If the, if the defender stops me, I'm going to pull up. If not, I'm going to get all the way to the rim. So right here what happens is I end up beating the defender and so we normally can have a baseline drive situation, baseline drift, where we have K-Mac to come to the corner. But in this situation, the guard and the post stay, so I get an up and the layup. Really crafty. I mean, you have to be with your size to be able to be crafty mm -hmm. at the rim, be able to pick your spots, and you do that so well. You're such a good finisher down there. Here, we talk about this team and how they like to ice, right? So you're going to see the positioning of this guard. They want to push you towards the sideline. Mm -hmm. So Seal's going to do a great job here of flipping that screen. What do you feel like your read is? Well, for me, when I play with Seal, she's such an amazing screener. So I know that I'm going to get open no matter what. I just have to make sure I set up the screen. So when I'm coming off here, I'm looking at the post player. If the post player is up, it's going to be easy for me to get to the rim. If the post player is back, then I'm trying to get to my pull-up. All right, and you come down. Yep. You read it perfectly. You snake it here. Cam Beige reaches, and you take that opportunity to pull up over her. And that's not a small feat, right? That's a big <laughs> defender that sure you're able is. to pull up over like that and making it look easy. Here. Talk about rescreening, right? Demiris is going to sit, set this first screen. The guard's going to go under, but then you have action after that where Didi is going to rescreen you and you have the ability to come off this way. What are you thinking? Exactly. So, whenever a guard comes down and they go underneath, we always want to think about a rescreen. Um, we can flip them, get into a situation where Didi can get a three, and if not, I'm either trying to get to the bucket right here or get to a pull up. Do that perfect. Stays off. Pull up. Perfect, get to your pull up, and that's something that you do so easy, and that's the spot that's always open because we're trained to guard the paint and guard the three point line, right? So, DD here is going to hand this off to you. You get it, rescreen again. What are you thinking? Look at where your defender is. What do you feel like you see here? Yep, this time the defender goes over the rescreen. A lot of times, if you go under a screen, the second time the coach tells you, you got to go over the rescreen. So, I know Mabry was coming up, she was high on me, so I'm thinking get right to the cup. You do that. Use, again, your ability to be crafty. You reach out, stretch out, and you're able to get that shot. I mean, those are the things that make you so special. Your ability at your size to get down and finish over defenders that are your size, bigger defenders, all of those things. And again, being able to play in that mid-range where there's a lot of options because, like I said, we want to guard the paint. We want to guard the three. And if you could perfect that shot, which you have, that makes you almost unstoppable. Exactly. I know when I was in high school, it was one of the biggest things of an adjustment getting into college was getting into a mid-range game. So. High school is out there. If you're thinking about it right now, get into that mid-range game. It really will help you out. All right, you heard it here. Look, add the midi to the package, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mo.